Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Notify.sh on Portainer stacks, which your Docker can pose underneath. So, uh, a little bit about this series, I'm going over Home Lab, so we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you need any uh, support or you, you have video suggestions, you can go down to our Big Bear community in our YouTube description and join our Discord. And let's get started. So this is about uh, Notify.sh. It's a push notification uh, a system. It makes it where you can subscribe to topics and then you can get alerts on your phone. And uh, it's got apps for Google Play, Android, and App Store. You can send push notifications from your app or script with curl. Uh, so receive not notifications on your phone, subscribe to topics, instantly receive notifications, priorities and action buttons and send files, phone, or computer. Or get notified on your computer through web interface that we'll be installing. And it integrates with your favorite tools. So, that's what we'll be installing today in Portainer. So, I'm going to start out in the Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description so you can get to it. And I'm going to go into how to install Notify at SH on Portainer right here. And then I'm going to go to Docker Compose and notify sh.yaml right here. I'm going to start with version 3 of Docker Compose. I'm going to put some services underneath. And then the first service is notify. And then I'm going to get the uh, notify.sh uh, Docker cont container from Docker Hub right here. And then um, it's going to be the image. And then the container name is going to be notify. The command to run upon starting the container is serve. So I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to set some environment variables. So you can change this to your time zone. And then I'm going to set some volume mappings. So the left side is the host. The right side is the container. So data notify cache on the host. Data not not notify config on the host. And then var cache not notify on the container side and etc notify on the container side so the, the right side is the container side and you cannot change that the left side is changeable if you'd like so now on the port mappings 7200 to 80 so 7200 is on the host side 80 is on the container side you can change the host side if you'd like so now restart policy unless stopped so that means that if you stop it for any reason it will not try to restart but if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart or any other reason. So, I'm going to go up here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over to my portainer now. And I'm going to get this installed. So I'm going to start in my portainer installation. And if you don't know how to install portainer, I've done videos on it. So I'm going to go here and local. And then I'm going to go stacks. Add stack up here, and then I'm going to name the stack notify sh stack. Okay, now that's good. So now I'm going to go down to web editor right here. I'm going to paste it in of what I had. Okay, now that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy the stack now. It's deployed. So we can go in here. We can see our containers down here. We can see it's running for a few minutes now. And then we can see 7200 to 80 right now. So that's port configuration. We can see that it set up volumes, set up a network. We can go in the logs and see that it is running. So it should be good to go. So you're going to put your IP for your portainer in. And then you're going to put 7200 as the port if you didn't change it. And then now I'm going to return or enter. And we can see it's up and running. So you can see subscribe to topic. So we can generate a, a, a random name and then subscribe. We started a topic. So let's see if it's working. Testing. Then you can change the display name. 
to something else. Then save, and then change that. And then you can send a test notification. You can clear all notifications. You can mute notifications. If you don't want to receive it right now, you can unsubscribe, which that will remove it completely like that. So let's go subscribe again to a random one. And then you can see that you can use curl right here and send it and it'll send it to this uh, topic right here. You can see the settings, no notification sound, a minimum priority, delete notifications, and then you can say the time. You can add a user in your local storage for your browser. And then theme, you can change the theme dark and light, the languages. Then you can say publish a notification. So you can go ahead and um, put one in and you can send it to this one if you'd like. Then you put the message in. You can say click URL for the email, attach file to by URL, attach local file, delay delivery and phone call. If you had a verified no phone number. And then um, that's how to get notify.sh working on Portainer. So I just showed you how to get notify.sh working on Portainer installed, everything like that. So I walked you through step by step and hope you learned a lot. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to Big Bear Community and join our Discord. There is a link down in the YouTube description. So. Stay tuned for more.